Giant Schnauzer The Giant Schnauzer is a working breed of dog developed in the 17th century in Germany. It is the largest of the three breeds of Schnauzer the other two breeds being the Standard Schnauzer and the Miniature Schnauzer. Numerous breeds were used in its development, including the Black Great Dane, the Bouvier de Flandres, and the German Pinscher. Originally bred to assist on farms by driving livestock to market and guarding the farmer's property, the breed eventually moved into the city, where it worked guarding breweries, butchers shops, stockyards and factories. It was unknown outside of Bavaria until it became popular as a military dog during World War I and World War II. The giant schnauzer is reckoned to be the youngest schnauzer breed developed in the farming regions of neighboring Württemberg and Bavaria as far back as in the 15 centuries. In order to control unruly cattle farmers required much more powerful and capable dog than mid-sized schnauzer. This wish necessitated the invention of the giant schnauzer, which was performed by crossing the average-sized schnauzer with local smooth-coated herding dogs. It's also very likely that rough-coated sheep dogs as well as the Great Dane and the Rottweiler contributed to its development. It is also very likely that the breed is related to the Shepherd of Flanders, the Bouvier de Flandres. For hundreds of years the giant schnauzer was used as an effective cattle driving dog in the south of Bavaria and in the area between Munich and Augsburg. Nevertheless it could have been hardly met outside these regions until the beginning of the 20th century. At that point extensive spread of the railroads mostly deprived this dog of its original job of a cattle drover. However lots of breed members were still kept by the owners of stockyards, beer halls and breweries where they functioned as ferocious guardians and vigilant watchers. Up until the World War I the giant schnauzer acquired a reputation of a fabulous police dog and it's still widely used in this role. Impressive strength, unwavering loyalty and great stamina of this dog became the reasons of its active involvement in both world wars, which almost cost it its existence. The first members of the giant schnauzer were brought to the United States in the 20s of the 20th century, but its population in this country remained scarce until the 30s of the 20th century. In 1930 the breed received recognition of the American Kennel Club and the United Kennel Club followed its lead in 1948. Over the years this high-maintenance large dog failed to gain any noticeable popularity in both America and other lands in the role of a companion animal. It also couldn't remove the German Shepherd from its position of a worldwide favorite police dog. In modern days the giant Schnauzer is very common outside its native Germany where it's still widely used in guarding and police work. It has also proved its supreme abilities in agility, fly ball heart pulling and obedience competitions. The character of the giant schnauzer usually changes considerably from specimen to specimen. Some of them are tranquil and somewhat lazy, some are cheerful and sociable, some are happy to make a new human friend, others shun strange people. The trait, which has in common all these dogs, is their love for domination. If a person isn't experienced enough in handling such confident and headstrong canine as the giant schnauzer will quickly assume the power over his, her household and family. Only early and continuous training and socialization is able of making from the giant schnauzer an agreeable family pet. This schnauzer is less snappy than other dogs of the same family and tends to be gentle with kids. However. There is no guarantee that a dog that behaves excellently with a familiar child will do so with a strange one. The well-trained giant schnauzer is quite polite with unfamiliar people although it never loses vigilance and remains somewhat reserved in communication with them. Decades of selective breeding for police and guard work endowed this breed with immensely strong protective and territorial instincts so in most cases it makes a fierce guardian as well as a very trustworthy watcher. Be mindful though that you may end up with the specimen that doesn't show necessary interest to such work. Prepare to face serious troubles if you intend to introduce the giant schnauzer to the household with pre-existing canine and non-canine pets. This breed has strong propensity to dominate among other dogs and it may provoke cruel fights with other dogs in order to assert its alpha status. 
It's also a passionate chaser of stray cats and other street animals although strong probability holds that it won't pester familiar pets especially if they have grown together since an early age. The amount of time and efforts, which is required to train a highly intelligent giant schnauzer, depends on personality traits of its individual specimen. In any case it's crucial to begin teaching your pet basic commands while it's still a docile and curious puppy. Taking into account the dominative and independent nature of this dog its trainer should make an impression of a natural leader in order to win its respect and obedience. This breed usually enjoys an opportunity to challenge its brain so once it masters a primary training course it should be promoted to more advanced tasks. The sufficient socialization bears the utmost importance for the giant schnauzer if you want to raise an adaptable and well-mannered dog. The giant schnauzer is a great athlete, which needs several hours of vigorous physical activity every single day. It also should be provided with ample space to run and play so an apartment dweller will never make an ideal owner for this dog. Bikers and joggers will find in the giant schnauzer an eager and indefatigable companion and active families will be able to take this dog in hiking trips. Sufficient amount of physical exercise will not only provide a good health for your pet but it will also ensure that it will always remains calm and even tempered indoors.